having a look at observations today, keeping your eyes up. Keep your eyes up. Keep your eyes up on the road. And you can plan in plenty of time. If you've got plenty of time, you can make some good quality decisions. Okay, let's go. So straight away I can see a roundabout up ahead and I'm looking up the road. Across the roundabout, coming down that hill, what's going on? Is there an opportunity to make some progress? Left and right on the roundabout, nothing there. Check again. Off we go. I've already seen this clear. Double check. Accelerate past the car on the way up the hill. Okay, it's got some slow signs, it's got some hazard marking sign lines in the, in the road. It's early warning what we're looking for. Okay, big signs, yellow background, highlighted signs means it's a bit more severe. So the corners are going to be a bit more severe, the left right is going to be a bit more severe, everything's a bit more severe. We had a sign tucked away in the hedge over left hand junction, there it is. Another junction sign tucked into the, into the hedge. Just checking there's no cars, straightening up the road. Bit of a car there on the left hand side, was it pulling out? Did we need to cover the horn? Okay, junction signs, again highlighted, big slow signs on the road. Looking left, looking right, kind of go to the junction, junction's free. Okay, we can start to move on a bit, moving into the cars. Solid white line to our side. Again, slow signs on the road. What's that sign say? Another junction. Okay, looking up ahead, more slow signs on, slow signs on the road. T-junction sign, car, people, boot open. Give them some space, don't know if the kid's going to run out. Just slow down, clear the hazard, clear the junctions, off we go. Keep your eyes up, what can you see, what's coming up ahead? Big slow signs, hazard signs, hazard white lines. It looks a nice easy road, but there's things that are going to get us. Be aware, keep your eyes up, what can we see? Keep looking, furthest point in the distance you can see to be clear. Moving out to see further, what was that? There was a cyclist. Where there's one cyclist, there's normally two. Keeping going to pop out from that left hand side. Looking left, looking right, clear the junction, you can roll on again. Okay, another sign, corner sign, highlighted background. It's wet, it's damp, it's slippery, we keep keeping to the right hand side as we go round. More highlighted junction signs. Read the road signs. They're there. To, they tell you exactly what's going to happen. Sometimes they tell us a little bit late. So around the corner, what can we see? What's the first thing we can see? That car at the junction. There's the sign. We saw the car first. So now we've got to think to ourselves, car at junction, has it seen me? We're going to move away from the car. Move away from the car because that's a hazard, but there's another one coming around the corner. Split the difference through the middle of those two. What else can we see? Above the top of the car, I've got a cyclist. Let's roll off. Let's let the car sort the cyclist out in his own right. Soddy white line. The car's going round that on the wrong side of the road around a corner. Let's just roll off. Be sensible about it. Give the cyclist all the room he needs. Round we go. Dropping down into a village now. There's our speed limit signs. There's our speed camera. So, steady away. Don't want to upset the locals. Right then, left sign. We've got the chevrons. Again, highlighted background. Gives us a fair warning. It's going to be fairly sharp. Good cross view coming up. Okay, here I can see a cyclist and I can see a car. So the overtake is off. Let the car deal with the cyclist. Let the second car deal with the cyclist. Remember there's oncoming traffic. I've already seen that on the cross view. So I'm slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. There it is. Early view, loads of time to plan. Let the cars come past. Give the cyclist some room and off we go. Everything was kept nice and safe there, and we didn't lose any time whatsoever. We were back behind the car, exactly where we would have been, having negotiated that cyclist. 
telegraph poles might tell us where the road's going, but not always. Vanishing point, trees, hedges, you've got to take it all in, every last thing. Keep your eyes up, see what you can see in the distance, and then beyond if you can. Looking beyond, overtakes on. Nice and steady back in, not going in front of the car, plenty of time there. Looking for the road signs. There's one, got one of these triangles. Maybe if I go up there, and along there, I can overtake this car without actually having to overtake it. Depending on what they do. So there's a the plan, early plan. Let's see what the car does. If the car goes left, change of plan. Okay, the car's carrying on. Let's go, let's go along the around this triangle. Jumps again, position the bike in the direction you need to go. Quick left, right, check. Off we go. There's the car. Be very careful, it's not going to pull out. Even into the left. Plan B was to use the brakes. So again, looking left, cross through there. Nothing coming down. Tip it in. Off we go. Still got some signs, still in sort of farming area, still got the highlighted signs, still got the hazard signs on the road, still got the slow signs painted on the road. What are the signs telling us? Left and right, farm. At the farm, we might expect some mud on the road, we might, forget, we might expect worn out tarmac. Keep it over to the left of the right hand corner. Looking through the corner, as soon as we can see, as soon as it's clear, we can wind on. Getting round the corner, it's clear, there we go. Left and right, S bends again. There's the left. Over to the left hand side of the road for the right hand corner. You can see across. Again. Round we go. Okay. Right hand bend, 40 mile an hour. Advisory speed and tells us how sharp the corner is. Once the corner opens up, we get back on the power again. Councils don't put them up for no reason, so this corner is sharper. What else about it? What else about this corner is interesting? It needs a highlighted sign. It tightens up on itself with loads of accidents. Look at the telegraph poles, that's telling us where the corner's going. Look at the telegraph wire. Click to the other side, on the road around. Keep an out for an earlier view around the corner. We don't have to swerve around for the pedestrians. Get in position quickly, get it into position early, we'll have more time to plan. Good positioning, see the 40 limit. Down we go. Thanks folks, keep your eyes up. Enjoy your ride.